I did actually see something the other day though that was interesting. They um in a they make a counterfeit Apple phone uh, USB cable that's okay. exactly you can't tell it apart. Yeah. But within the housing where the USB part is that plugs into your computer, end, yeah. Um, they fit a key logger with Wi-Fi yeah, that yeah. automatically like hacks whatever Wi-Fi yeah. network is around. Mm-hmm. So once you plug it into your computer. It just sends everything you type yeah, over awesome. your own Wi-Fi. Oh crazy. Yeah, and you can't tell it apart from a real yeah, cable. No, that's why I, I, I get, You have to go to the Apple I store buy, to buy your buy, Apple cables. Like. I buy my oh, cables fuck. directly from Google or from, yeah. uh, um, uh, what is it, um, yeah, the other site that I use. But yeah. The, the, yeah, because, like, yeah, the parts are so tiny now. They mm-hmm. can fit them in everything. It's crazy. Like, uh, <clears throat> they... Mm, it's good to know that, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I can. I'm sure Jewel does that on every like the legit Jewels. Yeah, they probably like, just have. Why yeah. wouldn't they? Key on them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just slowly like harvesting all of your data. Yeah, yeah and if we only use one percent of the data we're actually accumulating, yeah. it it's hard to catch on to, right. to where, yeah, yeah. where this information is being gathered. Well, from. it's like that. What was that? The um, office space or whatever. If it just harvests a penny from you here and there, you'll just never notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think stuff like that's gonna get become like really big problems. Like even the jewels, like there's no how do you know that you're not just getting a Chinese knockoff jewel from the gas station. Yeah, in place yeah, like gas stations. I don't know where jewel comes from. Too, I think like, legit jewel yeah, well, they're made in China, really too. Not. They could also just have the software loaded in them. If you go to a gas station that doesn't sell the flavored disposable vapes, they're probably on the up and up. So yeah. they probably get them from Jewel, but like if you go to a place that sells the illegal like, disposable <laughs> vapes, yeah, probably not getting their jewels necessarily from the right yeah. place. Like, well, because I know they, the one was going to they were to just go to Pennsylvania and buy them and then come back and sell them here. Okay, for a while when they canceled the flavors at first, mm-hmm. like, but like they could just be getting them from a yeah, source some dude in China from, that on eBay. already Should makes be, the real yeah. ones, and they just. You go on LA Express or whatever, you probably find a fake jewel manufacturer just send you yeah. packs of jewels that look real for And then you plug that little USB port yeah. in your lights computer. dim. Like yeah. I got that yeah. fake <laughs> I got a fake Novo vape and they I were like that, yeah. they were like twenty bucks regularly. So I went on eBay and when yeah. it was tw- it was nineteen. So I was like whatever, yeah. I was just gonna get one and I just got it and then it was fake. And I sent him a letter, I was like, uh oh, I I want to send this back. Give me a return postage. Give me my money back. It's yeah. fake. He's like, well, it's such a good deal. You must have known it was fake. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what he said. A dollar off. So no. I what? figured you just didn't have overhead because you don't own a store. So yeah. you could sell it for a dollar yeah. less. But yeah, the fact that they're making <clears throat> fake $20 vaporizers. Well, I remember watching something about the culture in China. Too. Yeah. In China, their, their just general vibe is that like mm-hmm. over here, it's just that like quality, like you shouldn't rip people off or whatever. Right. And it's like it's like if you want to you want a good solid business and you want to have like like good customer service and, and mm-hmm. stuff as the general vibe even though that's not usually yeah. the case either, but they right. but they but over there like I guess the idea is that you can offer like anything and if it's uh offer that's too good to be true then you kind of you know to be yeah you know it's like you yeah. know that you're gonna get scammed or whatever mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. that so like they. Over there, it's, like, acceptable. Yeah, I think it's sort of, like, a totally different mindset, so it yeah. doesn't even really make sense. But, like, yeah, if you are buying an iPhone for $200, yeah, both the people know that it's not a real iPhone. Like, yeah, the person yeah. buying it knows it's not a real iPhone, but yeah. they, it looks like an iPhone, which makes you look cool. Well, it works as a cell yeah. phone, so $200 is fine. I think what they don't, I guess... But Americans are like... Well, you said it's an iPhone. It's yeah. not. <laughs> you're like, because, yeah, of course. We, see, well, everyone the, knows it's not. What that, are you talking that's about? That's the problem with like with like like regulations and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It actually kind of makes you you have no critical thinking skills. Yeah, it's true. You're mm-hmm. like, oh, Which everything works. is infallible because there's regulations. Yeah, and then you're like, wait, why am I? Why is everything ripping me off? Yeah, yeah, was, it works fine as long to. as and everyone also, plays yeah. by the rules. But yeah, yeah, and also if you just let like base level scams exist, maybe they wouldn't develop into these super sophisticated ones yeah. that start to yeah. trick like people that think they know what they're doing kind right. of you know just we'll always trick the 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 dumbest people and that's right, fine yeah. we'll just yeah, accept yeah. that is. The scammers yeah. Yeah. Buy. they make enough money doing yeah. that then... what the when you do that the like i feel like you're gonna always get people who are who are young and they get scammed or whatever and then like they're gonna learn like they got burned a few times and then they'll be like oh, okay uh even though regulations exist uh banning things doesn't work and like I'm still going to, everyone's still out to get me and they're going to scam me. 
Like I, th- I feel like the that fake safety net, uh, uh, telling people like oh, we have an all powerful organization and uh, mm-hmm. we'll just watch out for you. Like you, you just in America, you can buy anything you want, and like if the government says it's available, it's because it's safe. And then it's like that's, but you there's just they can't watch everything. Yeah, and there, and work. it also yeah. just keeps you from legitimately doing something you want to do. Yeah. Knowing what the risk is yeah. involved too. Yeah, what if I want like, to? I want to take risks. Yeah, like, and right. if you want to like do something that's r- risky, and then and like, all oh, these, that's too risky for you to do. Well, they try and <laughs> they try and pull the like, oh, like you you don't really know what you're doing, but yeah. that, that's not even the mindset that that's coming from. Oh, we'll just 